heavyweight boxing fans what's the deal so interesting fight coming up on september 9th dylan carmen versus gary corners now some of you anthony joshua fans probably know about you know the gary cornish fight <laughs> joshua knocked him out in the first round i thought cornish kind of just my opinion i'm not the one in there getting punched but it just seemed like he just didn't want no more of what was going on with anthony joshua it didn't really seem like he was you know knocked unconscious it just seemed like he really didn't want no more man but uh this is going to be a good fight though with dylan carmen carmen is a six foot five guy he is rated, I uh, believe, in the top 50 on box rec. I believe he's top 50. But he only has a few. He only has about 12 fights, man. But I've seen him fight uh, Luis Severa. Or Severa Luis, I'm sorry. He fought him twice. Um, and then I also seen him fight uh, Baholi. The guy that fought uh, Lucas Brown. And Lucas Brown ended up stopping him. He fought him, too. He's he's pretty exciting guy of fighter, man, as far as coming and just throwing his hands and he will head hunt he's trying to get you out of there that's one thing i will say about carmen carmen also knocked out a old very old razor ruddick i believe that's the last time carmen fought was the ruddick fight um i believe that's the last time he fought but gary cornish has went on to fight two times after being knocked out by anthony joshua uh in september of last year and he just fought um I believe like a week ago or two weeks ago or something so he's been active I looked at his weight. I was noticing. I was looking at the weight to see if he just gained weight and ballooned up. And he weighed the same he did in the Anthony Joshua fight. So it seems like he's still in shape. Even after the Joshua fight, I made a video saying I want to see more Gary Cornish, man. I just think he just got overwhelmed. And I think Anthony Joshua is just a better fighter. And um, he just fell victim to that. But this is just a little, you know, just getting his news out there, man. I'll probably do a more detailed breakdown. Um as this fight approaches but gary cornish is a strong fighter he does have a good a decent right hand and a left hook he will walk you down with the jab but it's just you know i guess who he's in there with when he's getting pushed on his back foot things can make you know the fight can be very interesting the dylan carmen is going to throw his hands man he's not going to stand there and let uh gary cornish try to dictate the pace i think carmen is going to start fast i guess we'll see what's going to happen though man you know it's going to be an interesting fight um and Cornish is what about six seven? He's a big guy himself, man. So Carmen, you know, he'll go into this fight not being a taller guy, not being the, uh, just not being a bigger guy. Um, he was able to stop Severa Luis, which was impressive to me because Oscar Rivas fought Luis, and it, that fight was damn debatable, man. Because Luis was fighting Rivas off his back foot, using his jab throwing combinations he was making it very difficult for Rivas um but Luis did stop uh Dylan Carmen and Carmen got him back in the rematch but uh things will be an interesting fight man I made a few videos on Dylan Carmen about probably about six months ago probably and I was waiting for him to get back in the ring I want to see him and Oscar Rivas fight I believe that's the video I made was I want to see Carmen versus Rivas both guys are in Canada you would think it makes sense but what I'm seeing is uh, Gary Cornish versus Dylan Carmen. It's going to go down in Toronto. I'm just getting this out there, man. September 9th. I'll probably do a video soon here. And it's going to be for a vacant Commonwealth British Empire heavyweight title. So should be an in, in, intriguing fight, man. Hopefully uh, you guys that know who these guys are, man. If you guys are uploaders, make some videos about this fight. I think it's an interesting fight, man. I'm out.